Hey guys, it's Johnny. I tell you what, that pause always gets me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, well, hey, to begin, let's give where credits credits due, so I don't forget it. Uh, this is Eternal Peace by Steve Swanson, and the album is uh, Salome. It's L A. Excuse me, S A L O M. <laughs> kind of hard looking back and forth there. Uh, Expressions of Peace, Salome. S-A-L-O-M, Expressions of Peace by Steve Swanson is the album, and the song is Eternal Peace. And I own this, and it's on uh, iTunes, and I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful, wonderful instrumental album. And uh, this particular song, Eternal Peace, is just like you just raptured up before the throne. Well, hey guys, true to form, not so true to form, I am going to endeavor to keep uh, this video to less than five minutes, by the grace of God. I have something to announce to all of you uh, that have been listening in regards to the Empire State Building and so forth. Um, it's something that when you first hear it, it might be kind of sad and so forth, but actually, I'm very, very happy and excited about it. Um, you know, one of the things that I've learned in my walk with the Lord, or I am learning, you know, none of us learn, you know, or have learned <laughs> as far as to stay humble before the Lord, because there's always something to learn. But um, even in regards to something he's teaching you, it's like, you know, you are learning, no doubt. <laughs> At least that's the way it is for me. <laughs> but, um, you know, one of the things I've been learning in my walk with the Lord over the years is that... Um, when he says, you know, to put something on the shelf or whatever or move away and so forth, then that's what I do, you know, by the grace of God. And what he's telling me to do in regards to the Empire State Building right now, as far as it becoming a hotel and so forth, is uh, he is telling me to take a sabbatical. And if you look up sabbatical, the definition of it within uh, Wikipedia it says to take a rest. It actually comes from the word uh, Sabbath, of all things. And uh, so he's asking me to take a rest. And so I'm inviting you, if the Lord's speaking to you about taking a rest, take a rest. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm putting it up on the shelf, and I'm just going to let him do what he's going to do with it. Um, I will say this. You know, in regards to the whole thing, I think the timing is very interesting in, in what I've said about the Empire State Building, just as far as, uh, you know, the investment being risky by the Motley Fool, and then also about um, uh, the new mayor of New York City, who just recently was uh, uh, elected. His name is uh, de Blasio, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, he seems to be a, a good man, from what I can tell. And specifically, his heart is to bring equality within the economic uh, community. So that, you know, and I don't know all the ins and outs and so forth, what he stands for politically, but it looks like he may be good. You know, I don't know. But I just think it's interesting, you know, to be able to talk with him and, and uh, tell him about the idea, you know, and so forth. But at least not now. Because the Lord is the one I take the orders from. He's the captain of the host as it says in the Word, and, um, you know, it's reminding me of a scripture out of uh, Acts chapter 9, the Apostle Paul, the whole thing about going forth in our destiny. Uh, many a times, you know, what really what the Lord wants us to go by is to go by the desires and the expectations that are within our heart, and that pulls us forth into our future and allows us to see, you know, what He has for us and where He wants to direct us. The issue is, and the challenge that, that takes place quite a bit, is that what we necessarily see does not really line up with what he sees. And that's the challenge. And there's a number of different ways that he can tell us that, you know, whether through the word or through other people or through circumstances or directly through appearing to us or audibly speaking, you know, however he desires to uh, direct us. But, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, Saul, before he was called Paul, was very zealous, you know, and I'm, I'm talking about Acts chapter 9 inside of the Bible, for going forward and doing what he thought was right. And so he was persecuting Christians, and he thought he was doing right, and he thought he was building God's kingdom, you know, within the Jews and so forth, and being zealous about it. I really believe that that was his true heart, although he was definitely passionate 
about it, which is good, but by the same token, he was passionate about, uh, sorry for the, the blink there, <laughs> but um, he was passionate uh, about it, but as we see, with all the wrong ways of going. So here is Acts chapter 9, verse 3, it says, As he was approaching Damascus on this mission, a light from heaven suddenly shone down around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. And the voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Notice Jesus said, the one you are persecuting. So as he was persecuting Christians, he was persecuting Jesus. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. And Paul, a tremendous leader, knew how to respect a leader. I mean, Jesus literally knocked him off his horse. <laughs> and he said, now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. And you know what? Uh, for those of us out there in quandaries and transitions and so forth and asking the Lord, you know, what direction he has for us, let this be an encouragement to you. I know it is to me. He's saying to me, get up, go into the city and you'll be told what you, <laughs> what you, what you're supposed to do. You know, and take that figuratively, you know, we need to get up and obey him and listen to him and get along with him. That's the key. And let him speak to us and direct our lives and then go into the next chapter. So I hope that encourages you and ministers to you as it does to me. And um, so please uh, pray for me and ask God to give me grace and understanding and ability. Like I said, I don't know what he wants to do with the Empire State Building. I don't understand. It might be a figurative thing, you know, as far as like movies or a book or something like that. Or it might be a literal thing. I don't know. You know, I'm just being obedient to him and putting it as a sabbatical at the present moment. And uh, what is in my heart, you know, unless he directs differently, is to make videos about what I see and what I perceive in regards to life and the world and the word of God and uh, his spirit and uh, where he's taking us each day. So that should do it, you guys. Hope you're having a great day. This is Wednesday, November 6th. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. And uh, God bless you. G hyphen D bless you. Shalom. And uh, trying to think if there's anything uh, else that I had to uh, mention. Oh, this is the last thing I wanted to say. You know, the whole aspect is to be humble before the Lord. So if you're going down a direction and a path like Saul was and like I've been going down, and it doesn't seem like it's really fitting, you know, and you know, deep down in your gut there's something else and something more. I encourage you, it's your choice, to be humble before the Lord and to submit yourself to Him and His ways and His dreams. And He's got the best for you in all aspects of your life. Just humble yourself and be willing to just submit yourself to Him and to others as He leads by His Spirit. And I guarantee you, I can promise you, and I can solidly give this to you as confidence within your spirit and your mind, your heart, and your soul, that he has his best interest for you. All right, that should do it. You guys take it easy. Shalom. G-D bless you. God bless you. And we'll talk to you later. All right, bye now.